you just can see how we can be able to remove the background of an image without using Photoshop, without the knowledge of Photoshop. And we're just going to do it all from for just drag and drop online. It will just be done online without losing the quality of our image. Here is just an image I'm just going to uh, to get from Pixabay. It's a royalty-free image. You can use it how you want. You can If you just need more pictures, you can just uh, log in to Pix. You can just go to Pixabay and you can get lots, lots of images on Variety. They have 2.7 million images. You can get no matter how, how you want to use it. You can use them for, for commercial purposes and there are variety and variety of many more you can have. I've tried to use this one because I feel like it has some shadows and all that. We just can see how if the one that you're just going to do, uh, the, 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 uh, the website that you're going to use, if it will be able to just be able to remove uh, all these shadows. Let's see how it is just, it is going to do. And after that, I'm just going to use the one that I have taken with my phone and see if we can be able to move the background the easy way. That's the truth for today. And without further ado, let's just get into action and I'll show you how. So the first thing you just need to do is open a new page and search for Adobe, Adobe Express. Here we have it. Uh, it's free online for the tool. It from uh, Adobe. So they have so many Adobe Express. They have Adobe.com stroke Express. They have so many things you can be able to do with it. But I'm just going to select the one for photo. You have some even for videos and for files. You can be able to check on them. So I'm just going to select uh, remove background. It just direct us to a new page. And for you to have a maximum result, just make sure you sign in here. If you don't have an account, just click one here. And once you log in, you just be directed uh, to this page where we have now uh, drag and drop. So we just head over here. We just download our images. I'm just going to take uh, 640 by, oh, let me just take this 1280 by 840. I just download it. So because I've not signed in, um, uh, this will prompt. And all I just need to do is select is a sec for security purposes. And I just click next. If I fail, I'll be directed to another page here. So I verify right now it has accepted. So image will prompt and to just download. One it's downloaded, all I just need to do is we head over to our Adobe Express, just drag and drop and wait for the magic to happen. It takes some few seconds, uh, roughly. You see, it has been able to remove the shadows in which it could have taken us much of the time. So if you want to customize, if you just feel you're comfortable with this or just need to do this, click on this download button. And if you feel like it's good to customize, uh, if you want to maybe to add some uh, another background, you can just click on customize. It will take some few time to load the image. So here we have it. You can try like to expand it. You see it's not uh, losing its quality. You can see. Here we have it. So if you want to download without background from here, just click here, download and select uh, with transparent background and start downloading. Let me just download first of all and see what to take. Uh, to just be number one. So let me see. So we open it. That's our image. You see, it has taken some time. It just look amazing. I don't see if the image look bad. So from here, if you just want to replace the background or just need to click outside the image, don't click here. If you change here to just change the image, just click outside the image here. Select background. And there's so many background here you can choose. Let me choose this one for space. See, just change and added some background, and you can download. You can, yeah. Um, so, I want the image to be added to the background, so I can be able to have it. Let me see. Yeah, you see, it has this. If you want to select either, this one is a new one here. I never knew of that. So once it's done, you have it here. 
uh, if you want to select the image you can select here if you want to select the background you can select on this icon here so if you want to add so many shape and all that you can be able to add from there so if you want to uh, add maybe a solid color select solid color here and let me choose blue and just change uh, the background color and you can even change uh, some images and all that the next thing you just need to do is click here on download uh, select do you want it in png we have png jpeg pdf and we have png with transparent background just depend on how you want it now just click on download we have it downloaded and boom that the result we have been able to create and have it let me try to find an image the one i have taken with my phone so i select here uh, remove background so I, I can select from my device here so this image here has some shadows let me use this one it has some shadows you can see let's see how to take care of that so you see it has just taken care of the shadow and you can see the image look great now I just need to do click download and you have your image taken care of that just like that you have been able to remove the background with no hassle no photoshop and knowledge is needed just drag and drop and you have the result that's the truly for today if you're new here consider subscribing if you did learn something after this tutorial till next time thank you